Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Malcolm Merton. Happy birthday to you. It's today, isn't it, Mum? Yes, birthday boy. We've waited a whole year. My son, Malcolm, 37. Oh, who would have thought it, eh? Are you coming down for your birthday breakfast? Oh, I'd best get dressed, ma'am. No, come as you are. Leave your gym jams on. You're king for a day. Oh, come on, birthday boy. How <laughs> done you, eh? It's all just this morning. Oh, tree, Mendels. Oh, it's days like this. I wish your father wasn't bedridden. Go well, my father, ma'am. Yes. Happy birthday, son. That's off me and your dad. Oh, thanks. I bought it because of the lovely words. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, special boy. Splice the main brace. Anchors away. We're birthday bound to happiness bay. And they've tried to continue this nautical thing, you see there. Oh, yeah. Aye, aye. Happy birthday, Captain Malcolm. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's not a swastika. That's your dad's cross. Oh, I think his pen slipped on a bit of flam. Bingo! Five pound postal order. Oh, who's it to? Five pound postal order. Oh, who's it to? I don't know. Well, have a look. Is it Derek? Oh, it's off Auntie Morag. Now, don't go getting giddy, young man. You have to put that towards something. Don't go wasting it on pop and crisps. I won't. Oh, well, now you've got all this money. You might not want my present. Have you got me one, ma'am? Yes. Is it in here? You're cold, freezing, oh, chilly, still chilly. Oh, you're Jack Frost. Oh, you're getting warmer, though. You're getting warmer, you're getting warmer. Oh, you're piping hot! Not cheese, is it? No, the other shelf. Is this it? Yes. Oh. Oh, is that jumper you took me to see the other day? Yes. Do you remember when I made you close your eyes in the middle of the shop? Yeah. Well, I popped over to the till and bought it as a surprise. I wonder why you made me try it on. Now you know. What time's my party, ma'am? Four o'clock prompt. Blimey, Charlie, that's ages away. Now, are you ready for the top off your egg puppet? Yes, please. Now, you must try and get a nap this afternoon, so you're fresh for your party. And don't go showing off. Everybody has a birthday, you know. Now, don't forget all that lovely bit there in the top of the egg. I'm saving that till last. Well, don't forget it. I won't. Well, don't. I won't. Goodbye. Now, for the party, I'm doing chocolate rice crispy cakes. <whistles> a big Neapolitan ice cream. Ham sandwiches and potted beef spread fingers. <coughs> and a big bowl of hula hoops. <coughs> Enough of that whistling, Malcolm. You're not a kettle. Can we have baby beetroot, ma'am? No. All you do is keep putting your tongue out, show how red it's gone. You can't be trusted with baby beetroot. Birthday or not, baby beetroot's out of the question. Goodbye. I thought you'd forgot it. It'll make you grow big and strong. Oh, it's your birthday, Masha. Hey, Tricky Dicky, no tiptoes. Oh, hey. <gasps> Same as last year. Follow me, Malcolm, will you, love? Hello, Mr. Capstick. Hello, welcome. It's Mr. Capstick, ma'am. Oh, hello, Arthur. Come on, sit yourself down. Thank you. It's my birthday, Mr. Capstick. 
Oh, what about that? Then? <laughs> I don't know, eh? You keeping well, Arthur? Can't complain. How's your rhubarb? Coming along. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I must bring my Markham down to your allotment again. You enjoyed that, Markham, didn't you? When can we go again, ma'am? Steady on, giddy gold. Oh, he's overexcited, Arthur. He's having a big birthday party. Okay. Kate. Oh, I don't know, eh? You're a lucky chap, Malcolm. <laughs> How tall are you now? He's a six footer, I'll tell you that. Do you know what size his feet are now, Arthur? I don't know. Do you want to hazard a guess? No. Twelves. Mind you, I'm saying that. His slippers are still elevens, but that's Marks is for you. Size twelve? Oh, oh. Whatever next. Anyway, I'll pop up to see Mr. Merton. I brought him a quarter of sherbet lemons. Oh, yeah, good, Arthur. I don't know what he'd do without you. So, uh, are you popping up, Arthur? Oh, yes. Malcolm, did you flush that toilet after you? Oh. Oh, oh, it's a lovely war. Oh, would be a soldier, eh? Right? Oh, it's a shame to take the pain. As soon as we rally is gone, we feel just as heavy as lead. But we never get up to the sergeant brings our breakfast up to bed. Oh, 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 it's a lovely war. Oh, what do we want with eggs and jam when we got plum and apple jam? Form falls right turn. How do we spend the money we earn? Oh, 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 it's a lovely war. Did you find him? He was asleep. I left the sherbet lemons by the bed. Oh, that'll be a lovely surprise for him to wake up to. Thank you. Now, Arthur, there's Garibaldi's, or you can have a bit of Battenberg. I'll have a Garibaldi. Battenberg doesn't agree with me. You know where you are with a Garibaldi? <laughs> can I have a bit of Battenberg, ma'am? No! You can wait till your party, hungry Horace. Oh, he's Battenberg balmy, that child of mine. Oh, Arthur. Did you hear about Gordon Gosworth? He's got a new car with electric windows. That's a company car, that mum. He's not bought that himself. They were always very flash, them Gosworth. Peggy Gosworth was telling me he's going in for one of those new baritomes. Oh, oh I don't know, eh? <laughs> Baritome? <laughs> Who'd have thought? I remember when there were just fields there. So do I. Oh, my Markham used to play down there on his space off 